Hello everyone, today is Monday, March 6, 2020, and this is your bear market update for today. Today I want to talk a little bit about how price is king, and I also want to go over some of my price-based signals that's happened recently, and I want to point out that they're not in hindsight. That'll make more sense in just one second. By the way, if you want to keep up with these bear market updates, if you go to my website, top of the website, bear market updates, and you'll have a list of everything that I've done so far. You can follow along at home. There's a disclaimer screen. As you know, you can lose money trading or as often sum it up. All predictions are about the future. And a lot of stuff can happen between now and then. Now, I do have some good news. Looks like Trump's trying to open up the economy a little bit. Now, I know this is a small step, but it's a step nonetheless. My wife's like, you're the only one talking about Tiger King. I'm like, no, baby, I am not the only one talking about Tiger King. Now... I never say I told you so, and if I do, please point that out to me. But here's the thing. Recently, somebody pointed out that what I'm saying is in hindsight, and anyone could do that. Well, first and mo foremost, again, I will never say I told you so. So I will show signs and signals as they occur. Now, keep in mind that I do have a methodology, and I've been following that methodology for 20 something years now i am often wrong but never in doubt years ago i worked for a hedge fund and i was trying to get a gig with another hedge fund and i asked him if he wouldn't mind giving me a reference and then when i got the gig i'm like well what did you say he says well dave is he might not always be right but he you're gonna know exactly where you stand with him and hopefully i've been pretty clear throughout this process that i think that i have now Somebody said this system is in hindsight, and yeah, when I first developed this TFM 10% system, it was in hindsight, but that was a couple of years ago since I made it public. So every signal since then, good and bad, okay, is not in hindsight. Now, the other thing, too, is if you go to the bear market updates, you'll see that I did point out that we had a TFM 10% sell signal on February 22nd. Also, we had a bow tie and I believe this was in the March 4th update. I pointed out there was a bow tie. Now, what was fascinating to me is that we had this weekly sell signal long before the daily sell signal. And what I'd encourage you to do is go in and watch the recent week of charts and all the videos where I talked about these systems and how they can help, and help being a key word, keep you on the right side of the market. Now, as I just said, I've been following the same methodology for a long, long time. I do run a model portfolio, and that's the portfolio on the left before this mess began, the portfolio on the right after this mess. And then, if again, if you look at the weekly charts, I've done quite a few updates on this, how if you add it all up, it's actually up since this mess just started. So that's not in hindsight. This is something that I am running in real time. Now, as I've been saying, you need to come up with some possible scenarios for now, the big blue arrow remains pointed down. Here's my cocktail napkin. As I've been preaching, we look to play thrust, pull back, thrust, pull back, rinse, and repeat. So on the downside, it would be the same exact thing. Thrust, pull back, thrust. And that's all we do. And again, there's the big blue arrow in the background. And we got a little bit of a pullback. So take a look at this. Once again, thrust, pull back, thrust. We've had the big thrust down. And then we had a pullback, and now I think we're headed back to old lows, but it's not going to be a route lower. I think we're going to be all over the place. For instance, futures are up about 100 points at the time I am recording this. So it's going to be a bumpy ride. That's one thing I can guarantee. Now, I'm just a trend-following moron. I don't predict. I follow along. I will overstay my welcome at the party when the market began to roll over. I lost a lot of money especially open profits as the market began to roll over as it got knocked out of my positions but the good news is sharks began to trigger and that made up for those losses now i won't be the first in at a bottom i'm going to be a little bit late and that's because in order to trade a trend you must first have a trend to trade and i'm channeling greg morris on that one so what is is price is king if you are short this market, as you should be as a trend follower, brace for a retrace, as Linda Rasky once said, feed the ducks while they're quacking. So we get a big sell-off again, or if or when that occurs, which I think is likely, then go ahead and lighten up on the short side. In other words, just follow your trading plan. 
and follow the money management. Linda Rasky also once said, and I asked her about it, and she said she probably picked it up from somebody on the floor, but the market will do the most obvious in the most unobvious manner. The market will do what it has to do to frustrate the most people. So that pretty much means that we're going to have a bumpy ride back to the old lows. That's what I think will happen. I could be wrong. I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. A couple of random thoughts here. Volatility has become whack. I'm seeing REITs, which normally have a 50-day historical volatility of like 6 or 8. I'm seeing REITs in the 150 range. Utilities are similar. Again, as I've been preaching, be careful of these theme or story-based trades. They sound good. They make a lot of sense. But price is king. If you do have a story-based trade you're thinking about or a theme-based trade you're thinking about, if you have a bow tie or a pullback or some kind of setup, then by all means, knock yourself out. But if you have a setup anyway, you should take it with or without the theme. But be really careful with this theme-based and vesting. Also, with the market going up and down so much, be really careful with the flickering ticks. I borrow that term from David Keller, and I'm not sure where he got it. I keep saying I'm going to ask him. Anyway, you can get sucked into a moth like the screen and make some unnecessary trades. So be really, really careful with those unplanned trades. You know, a lot of questions. I can't short. What do I do? Well, set up your account so you can short. And not necessarily for this leg lower, just in case we're done here, but for next time. You could always buy in the money puts. That gets a little complex. See my first book. Dave Landry on swing trading. Uh, the chap There's a chapter in there on that. Also see the Q&A under the members section of my website for a lot more on that. As we say quite a bit, a lot of guru bragging. They're, they've been predicting bottoms for weeks on end. And so far, they've been dead wrong. But sooner or later, they will be right. Predict early and often is what I say. So just to wrap things up quickly, price is king. Follow along. And in the end, you will be wrong. And that just comes with the territory. Again, volatility is absolutely whack out there. So make sure you adjust to the volatility. And that means trading fewer shares than you normally would. Just make sure you use the money management to see where your stop should be and then adjust down again accordingly. Now the futures are up big, so there could be a chance for an opening gap reversal. If you don't know what that is, get educated and paper trade them for a little while. So that's it. Again, price is king. Don't forget to join Dave Landry.com, become a gold member, and then you can interact with other traders in our Facebook group and take courses on all these things that I just talked with. So everybody be safe, stay sane, and may the trend be with you. Thank you.